Hey YouTubers, Mike Borders with the Mike Borders channel. Thank you for watching. In this video, we're talking about the TE air code on an LG washing machine. And in the event that you're joining us from the previous couple of videos where we began troubleshooting, glad to have you. If you have not checked those out, very important to check all those videos out prior to actually doing anything in this video because we troubleshoot several options that do not require replacing parts. After doing all that and your washing machine still has that TE air code, chances are you have to replace the actual heating element and in this video we're going to show you how. Let's take a look. At the washing machine now and step one, safety first always. Cut all electrical power to the washing machine. Because mine is a stackable unit, I have a bracket here, two Phillips screws on the back side. Take those off, remove this bracket. Next we have to shift this whole top back and by doing that on the bottom of Phillips screw right there you only need to remove the bottom Phillips screw screws are removed and then you can just shift this back notice the gap next your detergent door be careful it might leak a little bit this little tab here push in and you can pull this detergent door out there are Phillips screws here that you will remove after shifting this entire piece back, go ahead and remove it completely. With the cap off, you can see the entire inside of the actual washing machine and all of its parts. Next thing, fill up screws, one, and all the way over here. Go ahead and remove those. One last screw in the top left corner here. Go ahead and remove that. Since we are here, go ahead and disconnect these two electrical connection points because we are going to pull this face off. Locate the plastic prongs. Be very careful and patient when you remove these. Take off this face plate. Be careful as you pull this faceplate away, you will maneuver these electrical wires because those come with the faceplate through a hole. Faceplate is now removed and down here you will see additional Phillips screws. Go ahead and remove all five. Hop down to the lower portion of the washer and carefully pinch those, remove that, and you've got a Philip screw here. Go ahead and remove that. Remove this rubber hose from its mount and pull this plastic casing right out. Next, remove that Philip screw. Let's go ahead and open up the door. And on the back side of the rubber seal, there is a locking ring. As you can see in there, be careful. You don't want to rip this. If you use pliers to pry this little ring off, do not harm this seal. Make mental note of where the actual spring connection point is. In our case, it's on the lower portion of the ring. Go ahead and remove the seal. Be advised there is a connection point here and just move it inward toward the tub. Next, I wanna point out two Phillips screws. These are what secure the door locking mechanism part. And if we just took those off, this part will fall down to the floor on the inner portion. We do not want that. So come up top and that is the door switch locking mechanism unit there. Go ahead and remove that electrical connection point. At this point, the entire face is disconnected and you can slowly rotate it on its lower hinges and pull this whole front face off. Front cover plate is removed, washer bowl, let's reference the bottom portion. Come all the way down and up under the washer bowl, there is your heating element right there. And what we want to do is remove the right connection point, the left connection point, the connection point for the thermistor or thermostat, and the last one is the green ground wire. As far as the thermistor, there is this plastic tab on the lower portion. Push it inward and pull it out. Now grab our 10 millimeter socket to remove this nut. And there's one additional 10 millimeter nut. Go ahead and remove that as well. And real quick, notice the difference in the nuts. This one basically has a washer built into it. That was the first nut that came off. This was the second one. Next thing you want to do, and you want to be careful as you do it, this little thread bolt here, you want to tap it inward, which will release the locking ring on the gasket. Next thing I did, position a towel on the bottom portion underneath the heating element. From here, you can grab the entire heating element, carefully and slowly pull it out toward you. And there it is. There's the old part. Here's the new part in the bag with the part number. Here's the new part out of the bag, the old part. There's that locking ring that we had to press back with that little threaded bolt to release the actual gasket. 
As you can see with the new one, it is secure and flush. Now let's take this new part to the washing machine and install it. Back at the washing machine, take note of how this is positioned. The thermistor or thermostat is on the left side and the electrical connection probes are facing down. From here, we are going to slowly and carefully position the heating element back up into the washing machine and secure it. Just like that, now we are going to secure this 10 millimeter nut. From here, grab the green ground wire, re-secure it, and grab that nut that had the washer from the previous one and secure this ground wire into place. Next, secure the thermostat or thermistor and both left and right connection points. From here, double check everything is properly secured and you have no tools lying around. At this point, we can remove this towel. Now it's time to put everything back together. Now it's time to reinstall the front cover and align it properly on the lower grooves here. After that, shift the front washer cover up and secure it with the Phillips screws we took off earlier. Down at the bottom, one more Phillips screw right there. Go ahead and secure that. Reinstall the plastic cover plate, secure the mini drain hose, go ahead and close the door. Reconnect the electrical connection for your door locking mechanism. Reinstall your seal. One thing I want to point out on the back side, there is that groove down there that actually lifts around this portion here. And you want to do that all the way around and then reinsert that locking ring. After you go around the entire outer portion of the seal, make sure that the rubber seal is around that little lip. The locking ring is back into place. Down at the bottom where this spring is, this is going to allow you to pull the tension out and reinsert this ring. Grab the control panel, reposition it. Those electrical wires will feed through that little hole here and reconnect. On the back side, Phillips screw, secure that. When you are putting back the control panel, align it properly with the plastic tabs. Where the detergent door goes, go ahead and secure the two Phillips screws. Reinsert the detergent door, press down on that little tab there, and go ahead and close it. Let's go get the cover plate and reinstall that. Two Phillips screws on the back side. Cover plate back on and secure. Turn both cold and hot water supply back on. Last step is to plug the washing machine back in and run a cycle. That's it. See, it's a pretty friendly DIY project. Hope it helps. Do us a favor below the video. You will see that thumbs up icon. Click on that, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Definitely turn on your YouTube notification bell. Once you do that, every video that we upload, you will be notified. You will be able to stay up to date with us and that will be awesome. Thanks again.